A rugby challenge 4 is probably one of the most anticipated rugby games since its first iteration, Jonah Lomu's rugby challenge. And since we haven't heard anything from the devs in a few weeks, I thought I'd put together a few videos of features and changes I'd like to see in the upcoming game. After all, we have been playing this for roughly four years now. So we'll be starting things off with, in my opinion, the most important part of any game, and that's gameplay. So first of all, I hope they haven't really, I hope they haven't made a complete overhaul of changes with the controls. Because I reckon where they're at at the moment, it's a decent place to continue to build from. So this video will be talking about the rucking system, a couple of changes I'd like to see, and a couple of upgrades. So like I said, I'd like to see them improve on the existing system. So when tapping a face button to add players into the ruck, maybe they could add like a, a second button press, and with that, put in a timing meter, much like a NBA 2K style shooting mechanic to determine just how effective players will be entering the ruck, with forwards obviously having more of an impact when it comes to joining than backs, which they do have in the game at the moment with the heavy bind. This brings me to my second ruck feature I'd like to see, and that is more penalties around the ruck, and the way that could be implemented is by badly timed entries. So let's say you try to add a player into the ruck and you poorly time the second button press. That could uh, result in players coming in from the side, diving in off their feet or falling over the ball, thus resulting in a penalty. My last sort of uh, new feature for the ruck gameplay I'd like to see would be an option to extract the ball at will, only if the attacking team has the numbers advantage in the ruck. So. So how it works in Rugby Challenge 3 is you have to wait for the little Ruck minigame to complete and that could sometimes take an age for the ball to come out. The kind of boxes you in and it restricts you to play at the game's pace. I think if you were able to extract it at will, it'll make the game a little more free flowing. Then again, I could see it getting a little more chaotic but I think it's a must needed feature still. It'll definitely uh, open the door for more playstyles or various playstyles. So if you like to play a fast paced type of game, you could do that, but it could be taxing on your player's stamina, or you could play a slow, gritty, grinding type of style through the middle of the field. Or maybe it's just certain situations call for certain playstyles, and I think those said playstyles can be achieved with something as simple as being able to pull the ball out whenever you have the advantage in the ruck. So that's pretty much what I'd like to see implemented into the future games. For the rucking system at least, I still believe Rugby Challenge 4 or the Rugby Challenge series has a lot of potential if they don't overcomplicate things. I've got a few more of these kind of videos on the way, so if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with the rugby and rugby league content on the channel. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you, 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 you. later.